The third book of Moses, called Leviticus. Chapter 11. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever part of the hoof and is cloven-footed, and choose the cud among the beasts that shall you eat. Nevertheless, these shall not, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof. He is unclean to you. And to the badger, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the hare, because he chews the cud, but divides not the hoof, he is unclean to you. And the swine, though he divides the hoof, he can be cloven-footed, yet he cho chews not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and of their carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters and the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat. All that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you shall have their carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever has no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. The, and these are they which you have in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination in the, the eagle, the ostrich, and the buzzard the eagle, the vulture, and the buzzard. <clears throat> the kite and the falcon after his kind and the vulture, even raven after his kind, and the owl and the night hawk and the cacao and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl and the cormorant and the great owl the swan, the pelican, the gear eagle, the stork, the heron after her kind, and the lapwing and the bat. All fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. Yet these may you eat of every creepy thing that goes upon all four, which have legs upon their feet to leap with on all the earth. Even these of them you may eat, the locust after his kind, the bald locust after his kind, the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying creepy things which have four feet shall be abomination unto you. And for these things you shall be unclean. Whosoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until the evening. And whoever bears off the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. The carcasses of every beast which divides the hoof and is not cloven-footed, nor chews the cud, are unclean unto you. Every one that touches them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goes upon his paws, among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoso touches their carcass shall be unclean even until the evening. And he that bears the carcass of them shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening, they are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel, the mouse, and the tortoise after his kind, the ferret, the chameleon, the lizard, and the snail, and the mole. These are unclean to you among all that creep. Whosoever does touch them, when they be dead, shall be unclean until the evening. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, does fall, it shall be unclean. 
whether it be any vessel of wood or raiment, or skin or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and then it shall be unclean until the evening, so it shall be cleansed. And every earthly vessel, wherein to any of them falls, whatsoever is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. Of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water comes shall be unclean, and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything whereupon any part of the carcass falls shall be unclean, whether it be oven or ranges for pots, they shall be broken down, for they are unclean, and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean, but that which touches our carcass shall be unclean. Of any part of the carcass fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of the carcass fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which you may eat die, he that touches the carcass thereof shall be unclean even until the evening. And he that eats of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. He also that bears the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. And every creepy thing that creeps upon the earth shall be an abomination, it shall not be eaten. Whatsoever goes upon the belly, and whatsoever goes upon all fours, or whatsoever has more feet among all the creeping things that creep upon the earth, them you shall not eat, for they are an abomination. You shall not make yourselves abominable with any creepy thing that creeps, neither shall you make yourselves unclean with them, that you should be defiled thereby. For I am the Lord your God, you shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and you shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall you defile yourselves with any manner of creepy thing that creeps upon the earth. For I am the Lord that brings you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moves in the waters, and every creature that creeps upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten, and the beast that may not be eaten. Chapter 12 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, and bore a man-child, she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day of the flesh for his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying thirty-three days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a, wom a woman child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, and in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of purifying sixty-six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, for a son or a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon or turtle dove for a sin offering, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, unto the priest. For shall, who shall offer it before the Lord? and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law for her that has borne a male or female. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles or two young pigeons, the one for the burnt offering, the other for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart and all my soul. In your loving name I pray. Amen.